This is Frankie Rose for Box Magazine. Frankie, thanks for talking with us today. So um, you have a different look I've noticed now with oh, the yeah. blonde hair. Um, so does that signify anything that's also creatively changing or what inspired the change? You know, I just, I don't know why I did it. I, I'm like, I'm, I've never dyed my hair before, but I just got really tired of having black hair. <laughs> I'm like a Latina, even though it doesn't really look like it, but I, I feel like I've always been told that you can't have blonde hair or you can't change the color of your hair if you have black hair. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Like, yeah, I can. Yeah. Like, why not? So. Nice. Well, it looks great on you. Thank you. So it's really, it's really fun. You. I'm having yeah. a fun time with it. It's, it's good for the summer festivals. Too. I know. It's very <laughs> so, uh, It's funny. I was researching you earlier and um, for some reason online it says you're born in 1954. Interesting. So, I'll take it. Great for 60. Thank you. I'm feeling great for 60. <laughs> but um, I'll be 60 someday. Yeah. Well, exactly. Hopefully. Well, on the right track. Yeah. We um we caught your set today. It was fantastic. Oh, thank and you. I know you debuted a new song. So what Couple. was that song called? And where, what were those songs called? And where are those to show up? The second song, Question Reason. That's a new one. And then we did Street of Dreams, second to last, or no, third to last, I think. Um. And those were hard because I just finished the I finished the record like a week ago, so my band learned them like in like a day and a half. So they did a great job considering it's yeah. you know just finished. So yeah. So what's on the docket? When's that coming out? Or that is coming out in the fall. I'm not really. I don't think I'm supposed to say like exactly when, but definitely the fall. Okay. And I'm so excited. Yeah. Will there be any sort of change in music direction for you, or is it going to? It's be a little bit different. Yeah. It's definitely. A faster paced album. Album, it's like a little less moody, a little less spacey. Yeah. My friends that I trust have told me that it's a little simpler, but it's a little more refined also. So I don't know what that means. It's it's a little meta to think about it right now. I'm like still in it kind of. Like if, maybe if you ask me three months from now, I'll have a better answer for what I think it is. But Fair. you don't know what you have on your hands until it's out in the world. Kind yeah, of. absolutely. Cool. Um, I know now you perform just as Frankie Rose. Mm -hmm. So what out of the outs, or who are you working with now? You know, I have a real, I have really important bandmates. As far as I'm concerned, they are. I could, I can't do it without them. Uh, Drew Citron, my lead guitar player, is amazing. She, you she, she, she kills yeah, it. She's great. She's incredible. It's, uh, yeah. I'm, I've been with. She's been. She originally played keyboard for me, and then we switched her over to, to lead guitar. So interesting. Uh huh. Yeah, she kills it. Yeah, where was she from prior? Do you want to know a little bit more about her? She's from Brooklyn, and we're actually in a, another band together um, that you'll probably totally love. It's a side. It's a. It's been it become a spinoff where she plays lead guitar and I play drums, and it's called Beverly, and it's a two piece. Oh, cool. And uh, that's coming out on K9. I don't know when, but. Uh, so she's the front woman. She kind of. I yeah. mean, it's definitely like a duo, but okay. she's definitely on the guitar in the front, and yeah, she it kills it. For you to get behind the kit oh, it's awesome. The drums for me are just pure fun. It's like no pressure. I mean, I still talk a lot and stuff, but it's like weirdly like it's it's less intense for me and it's more fun. Yeah. So. Well, cool. We'll look forward to seeing yeah. that in the new record. And yeah. With us. My pleasure. Uh, <laughs>